Hey everybody, welcome back to Pure Snow Runner. If you watched the previous video, we did Pipe Dream. We hauled that big fuel tanker over to this map, or over to the map. Uh, now we gotta haul this big trailer over to the oil rig. But the first thing we gotta do is get two metal beams, as you can see. So, in order to do that, we're going to grab another Veyron, a Voron D, which is the one that was in town, that had the trailer with everything on it. So what you got to do is get rid of the stuff that's on here. Don't need it anymore. Boom. Remove cargo. Uh, we still have fuel. All we need is two metal beams. Oh, we have a truck in the way. Houston, we have a problem. We'll move it out of the way. Or... You know what we're gonna do? Because we've been doing Jenga loads the whole time. Um, I'm gonna do this. So make sure your anchor's down. If you just honk the horn, like push it on your left analog stick, it put the anchor on automatically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this truck. Uh, come on, come on, baby, come on. You can do it. We're going to turn it so that it's lined up. Set it down on top. Done. Now we can drop the crane down, which is your R, R1. <laughs> Brings it down and press it down on top. So now we're good to go. It should stay in position. Now we gotta go to activate anchor, which will take that away, and off we go. And I hope I didn't block my exit. I did not. We are gonna change the time of day because it is afternoon and we want morning. Unless you want to play that way, but for y'all at home to see this. Okay, again, if you're repeat offenders, and it's, that's a good thing in this situation. Uh, if you're new or if you repeat offender, you know what to do. Smash the like button, leave a comment, say, hey, I'm here. Stop by and share it out. Shit, if you got Twitter, Facebook, wherever, share it. All that little stuff helps. It doesn't seem like much. Even a comment in the chat or in the comments below makes a difference. It doesn't seem like it would, but it does. It lets me know you appreciate what I'm doing, first of all. Second of all, it goes into a YouTube algorithm change gets my video promoted. Helps me out. We kind of grow the channel. Let's we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep playing. And then for the long haul, which we have a lot to do. We've done a lot of videos lately. Lots of videos. Uh, we're taking a shortcut over to the oil field. Okay, so if you watched this before, you know I don't take the little squeaky path. I don't know, it's just something I don't like to do. I like to go this way. There's a path right to my right. But I don't like going that way. I like being risky, I guess. But be careful when you enter back in so that you don't tip over. Again, we are top heavy. And we could tip over very easy. This is what I call Jenga loads. Oh, and if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. Uh, leave a comment. If you do subscribe, uh, say, hey, I'm new. Uh, but if you do subscribe, ring the bell. There's a little bell there for notifications. So that you know when there's a new video out. Uh, you can go back and watch the old videos. I, mean, I put out three videos a week. So they're not that old. Unless you're here in, in July or something. Well, it's been around. We're, we're pretty far into the game. And to go back and watch all the videos would be great. We appreciate it, but uh, it's not July right now, so <laughs> I'm just saying. If it's July for you right now, then you, we're pretty far in the game. All right, so let's go here. But anyway, we'll ring the bell for notifications. Three videos a week. Gotta, gotta, gotta. Repack the cargo. Store crane. Oops. Well, let's put the corn crane back, and there we go. So now it's starting to build this oil rig. All right, now 
Now we can get this. We'll just move this out of the way. Put this in the, I don't think we're going to need it, but we're going to put it here for right now, just so it's out of the way. And stop the engine. And now we got to get the oil drill. It is not in this map. We need to go back to the other truck, which was in town. If you click on it, so like you click on this Husky 40 Dyson diesel, not a drill, oil rig drill to the drilling site. Oh, it's right there. You can go back to this. It's going to tell you it's that. But the oil rig drill, it doesn't tell you. It's like, where the hell is it? It is in Smithville. So we need to go down the path, all the way around and out into Smithville. So back, I'll zoom out. You just go back down the highway and into Smithville. That's it. Do not hit recover unless you've already discovered Smithville. What's it called? Uh, if you've already discovered Smithville, the garage in Smithville, you can hit recover. It'll take you back to this garage on the other side of the map. And then you can retain the vehicle and then recover back at Smithville Garage. But again, this trailer is already here. It's a free trailer. It's a flatbed, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's one of these blue ones, it'll be big enough to haul what you need. The oil rig trail. Um, we've just been grinding, pumping out these videos. Um, I like to go saddle high, or not saddle high, uh, low high, so it doesn't shift all the time. But if you're on asphalt or blacktop or whatever you want to call it, you can go. Excuse me. So you start hill climbing and stuff, it does like shifts up and down. Up and down. We are grinding, grinding, grinding. But like I said, if you have any questions, comments, especially if you're new, um, how did you get to this point? I'm stuck on this mission, whatever. Uh, all the videos are broke down. You just check back to the previous videos. Uh, I did every separate, everything separate, the tasks and the contracts. Um, we will be doing logging and we will be doing all of the missions as well as the contests as we go along, as I go along. We, just me and my mouse and my pocket. Um, so we're off to see the wizard and we're off to Smithville Dam. <gasps> New background. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, the PS5 loads quick, so you're boom, boom, boom. And here we are. Skip the scene. No, we'll let it roll in. It's a new area. New area, new area. Now, if you watched previous video, it's like the third video I did, something like that. Um, if you hit the map, I came through here, you can see where I was, and all I did was go to Island Lake. That's it. I was getting vehicle upgrades. So there's one right there. <laughs> uh, this one is still here yet. I have to discover. It's coming. It's coming. We'll do another video uh, once we get this one done on discovering all of well, actually be two videos coming up we'll find all the towers and vehicle upgrades in this map which there are a lot so stay tuned in the future in the future in the future in the future but anyway we're just going to get this thing which is right here by the service hub so off we go um, i do suggest while you're on this mission to find the garage it's going to speed things up for you. I'll show you exactly where it's at. It's on the way, kind of. Um, I am actually going to swap out the trailer. Nah, that's where I'll use this one. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be deleting it anyway. Um, but we are going to discover the garage. So that when we're done, we can recover to the garage. I'll show you. It just makes things quicker. 
and it literally only takes a second. This way you don't have to drive all of your vehicles to this place. You just recover them. So all you have to do is find the garage. It'll say, garage discovered. That's it. Once you've discovered it, you're good to go. So, you, know, you don't have to do anything crazy. Yeah, it's nothing, you know, hocus pocus. Nothing like that. What we are looking for the oil rig drill. Now, I have a question for y'all watching. Has anybody ever grabbed the wrong parts? Meaning, if it said vehicle spare parts, and you put service spare parts, or vice versa, and you get to the location of your mission, and you're like, I have the parts on here. Ah, oh, I got the wrong parts on here. So you end up going back. Another one is uh, oil barrels and fuel barrels. Two different things, of course. But you're in a hurry, in the same place, gives you the same products. So you just put them on there, and you get to the location. And you're like, Mother Fletcher, I grabbed the wrong ones. Now I'm going to go all the way back to get the right things. Hey, it's happened. I've done it too many times to count. And we're not even to those locations yet. So it is possible. Be sure you're putting the right products on the, <laughs> on the trailer. Double check. Triple check. Make sure. Okay. You know, this thing is hard to, you can't mess it up. <laughs> it's an oil rig drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's some people that want to play this and they want to load each thing on their own. So they just put it on the loading dock and then they load it with the crane. Have at it. You know what? It's your choice. I will auto load, click the button and go. I am in a hurry. Boom, boom, boom. We got stuff to do. Alrighty. Travel. We're on the way back to Black River. Again, it loads up quick because it is the PS5. Seems like the PS4 takes a little longer. PCs are pretty quick too. Depending upon your PC. And again, if you have any questions, feel free. Drop them in the comments. We gotta run this to the drilling site. We have two two different ways we can go. I think we'll take the easy quickest route. We'll take the quickest route, which is left here. Let me show you all which way you can go. So you are here. It's like being at the mall. You are here in front of Cinnabon or some shit. Uh, you can go this way. Before the water, take a left or a right. Come down through, cross, take the first left, and you're at the oil rig. Or you can go all the way back into town. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Come down behind the sawmill again. The wood mill, sawmill, lumber mill, whatever. And then make your way back that way. It's literally a horse apiece. I think it's a little quicker to go left. That's why I'm going that way. You really don't want to go through this. I'm telling you that. Because it's this area right here is a real son of a biscuit with some vehicles. It's very muddy. So it makes it very difficult to get through. So keep that in mind. Um, the next step on this excursion, I'm going to show you guys a couple different options. Well, I'm going to show you possibilities of ways to go and I'm going to show you the easiest way to go and then I'm going to show you the way I'm going the different versions you'll see you'll see no spoilers <laughs> I kind of just did any who's yeah leave in the comments where are you guys from You know, I'm curious as to where my viewers are. Okay, I mean, I don't need your street address and your mailing address and all that. And just tell me the state. Not the state of confusion. That's where I'm from. Uh, I am from Wisconsin, if anybody wants to know. That's as far as I go. But Wisconsin, upper Midwest. 
cold as crap here. Not all year round. Just in the uh, winter time. Just in the summer, yeah. Uh, no, just in the winter. It gets cold. You know, but, uh, it's part of living in this area. Shift it into low high so we don't have the shifting. Again, if you repeatedly go through a certain area, it's another thing, another tip. If you're repeatedly running the same back and forth through the same area, the mud gets muddier. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, the best thing to do is go back to the main menu. Be sure to go back to the main menu. Don't just close your game out. Another tip. <laughs> uh, don't just hold down your button and go back to main menu or close the game out. You have to go main menu first so that it'll save. I mean, it auto-saves at different points in the game, but I always, as a rule of thumb, will go back to main menu first and then to the main, whatever, your home screen. Main menu, then home screen. Don't just go to home screen and close the application. Because you may or may not lose some of the crap you just did. And you don't want that to happen. Or maybe you do. Maybe you want to start over. I don't know. If anybody watching this from the back in the time of memory cards or games that didn't save your progress and you had to start over every single time. Or you get a corrupted memory card that you thought saved it, and it doesn't save it. PlayStation was good for that. Oh, your memory card is corrupted. So that's junk. So you have to delete it and start over. It's like, oh, oh, I just did all of this. Oh, man. Those were the days. It's all old. Hick, matey. That's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Anyway, we're drilling this, we're delivering this oil drill assembly or whatever this oil rig drill. Um, but like I say, if you go through certain areas, a lot of times it tears up the mud. The mud on here is not just cosmetic, it actually is. Oh, I'm paying about to get through it if you have the wrong tires. Boom! More pieces. <laughs> yeah! Now we need. Um, we don't need this trailer. We can delete this trailer. But we gotta detach it in order to delete it. And we're gonna move this out of the way. Just for now, we'll move it up behind this other truck. And stop the engine. Okay, so now, if you watch the previous videos, you see that I had this truck already over here. And that other truck is still there, yeah. But we're going to go. So, there are options. I was saying earlier. There are options on which way to go. Do not go this way. This area to come through this with this trailer would be crazy. I don't want to use the other word. It would be crazy. Go asphalt. So, if you want the very easiest way. If you're using in-game trucks, non-modded vehicles, and you're going to have issues... Uh, with this river crossing. You're going to have issues. You're going to be winching. You're going to be having your buddy or whatever try to tow you across that river. It's going to get hung up. You got to get it. The easiest way is to follow the asphalt. Turn left at this intersection here, which is the first one. Follow it all the way around. I'm turning the camera so you guys can see. All the way around past the fuel station, which is where we grabbed that big green trailer. So that's that spot. And then follow that around further. And then you get to where we did the power line, which was right here. I'm sure you remember that back. <laughs> and then you get across the bridge and you're back into town. So you pass the fuel stop, you can get refueled come through town all the way. I, again, this seems like it's going to take forever. It really doesn't. It's not that bad. It won't get stuck. So then you come all the way through town and you make this turn. Now, don't get lost. It's right past town. Here's the tower. Uh, you went through here to do motel woes and uh, trailer, lost trailer. 
turn right, go all the way down and turn right here, which you just came through here with the oil rig, and now you're back to the oil rig. That is the easiest way. You won't get stuck if you try to cross this river with stock vehicles or in-game vehicles. Unless you've gone ahead and cheated and grabbed a couple other vehicles. Um, if you're using the Fleet Star or whatever, you will get stuck. If you go the other way, the way I pointed out, you could take the Kodiak, you could take the C70, anything that'll pull that trailer with a saddle high, and it'll make it. Other option, I'm going to back all these my little things out, is to go turn left here by this end of thing, come all the way around until you get to this point. which is a tight corner, but it can be done. You turn here and you get a nice tight corner. I don't like going that way. Then you go across the wooden bridge, boom, right? Seems easy, it's tough. Next option would be to follow that around, boom, 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 till you get to this intersection. And you cross through here. Keep in mind, there's a lot of dips and everything else, and that thing will get hung up. But you come through here, and you go to the wood, and you come that way. So there's many different ways to go. I, personally, am going to go around, through here, cross the river, take a left, and go this way. That's my route. Let's go. Trying to keep this as simple as possible. Uh, and this is like all-time... Well, it is like four wheel drive and all that. I don't use diff lock or anything like that. Um, unless you really got something to pull. Biggest thing is the trailer's big. Keep in mind that the rocks and stuff are going to pop springs or your suspension. Things like that, so be careful. Put in the comments which way you go. You guys have watched this. Say, well, I go this way. Or I cross the water. Or I, I go through by the lumber mill. Or I like the way you went all the way around. Um, I, on my other YouTube channel, a long time ago, before they broke the C70, um, I actually used, proved it. I did the C70, went all the way around the map, and I made it in two wheel drive all the way around the map. And it was much easier, there's no winching, you just go. Um, but they mo they tweaked it and it messed it up. Um, let me ask you guys a question. I mean, I think I, I did talk about it in the much needed mods video. Um, if you haven't got a chance to watch it. I did talk about it. Uh, my opinion is the Vehicles that you get in the beginning of the game, uh, the Fleet Star, you get the mods right away. I mean, you get all of the mods you need, race suspension, diff lock, all of that stuff right away in this first map. But if you get the C70 or even the GMC 9500, you end up going to Alaska, you end up going to Russia to get the upgrades. It's like, why, and in some of the other ones in Michigan as well, but why do they make you go that long into the game? That's a lot of gameplay just to get the upgrades for the vehicles that you get right away. It, to me, it doesn't make any sense. I think that at, at most, or at whatever, at most at least, they should have the upgrades for these vehicles in Michigan. Any of the four maps of Michigan. So, let me stop for a second. Uh, up on the D-pad? No, down on D-pad. So, you have your Michigan map. Let me use the global map. I'm oh, sorry. Any of these four maps. I don't care which ones you want to put the mod, mods in. Go through and move some mods around. Give us the mods right away. Because if you watched that video, I had to go into Russia. I had to go into Alaska. And into Michigan. Just to find all of the 
necessary mods for the vehicles. So okay, now we're back to this river crossing. Um, do not go left. Stay on the middle. Um, I always shift in the low or low high, as I call it. You get less spin on the tires if you go in the low. Just leave it on this. It'll creep its way across. But watch your skid plates on the islands, which is why you don't want to go on the humps. Uh, spinning around. If we go left toward those poles, you see how there's humps? It looks like, hey, we got land. But you also got land. And land gets caught up under this trailer. And then you get stuck. And you end up winching your way across. But if you just stay on the right side, <coughs> you know, don't go way up into the lake over there. Um, stay on the, on the right side. And the current's going to want to pull you that way. You can see it's, it does want to pull you a little bit. And it wants to grab that trailer once you get to that point. But you just let it go across. Again, if you're not spinning, you've got traction and you're going. Granted, it's low gear. I mean, that could go way down in the low gear, but just your regular low gear will get you across versus this. And all you're going to do is that. And what fun is that? It makes a big difference. <laughs> I'm telling you. Smarter, not harder. But like your Fleet Star. Um, with raised suspension. It'll make it, but it's going to take you a little bit. Definitely not going to be as easy as what we're doing here with this truck. See, we already made it across. We're just going to break through this little barricade here. Come on. And then make the turn. Jackknife thing. Put the sign. Just nice wide turn here. Don't get hung up on the stuff here. It will tip over though. And uh, I've done that. So, learn from my mistakes. Watch out because these things, the trees are not invisible. <laughs> and it will get caught. So, widen your turns. You know, you're going to have to accentuate, exaggerate your turns. There you go. In other words, take them wider than what you think you need to because you'll get hung up on these little trees and stumps and whatever else. Anything to make your gameplay more enjoyable. Turn, baby, turn. This is a tight turn. A lot of times what I'll do is I will get myself to a certain spot and then back up to get the you know, shift back in the auto. Get myself back in the low. I just want to make sure you make the turn and not hit any trees. There we go. And then all we got to do is drive over to the oil rig. Very simple, very easy. And we're almost there already. Right. Versus going the other way, going around the map. But you still end up going through where I just went through and this way. Um, it's not very deep mud, as you can see. You can take your time. I mean, if you're playing multiplayer and you have a friend towing you, yeah, make some fun out of it. Um, again, my personal preference is to play single player. It's your game. Play it any way you like. You know, there are probably some people that if you had a helicopter would use like a cargo bob of military grade helicopter to carry their cargo to the locations and just drop it off instead of actually driving this. Uh, in my opinion this game can be very enjoyable if you just step back and enjoy it for what it is. It's not a race. I mean I, I like to do things efficiently but I'm not trying to race anybody. I'm not doing a speed run or anything like that. Just efficient. Now again, if it's raining, which does happen, I think some of the missions are just automatically programmed for the game to put rain in. I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. Like, oh, you're doing this mission? We're going to put rain in. It comes with the mission. You know? I don't know if anybody's noticed that. But it always rains when you do that mission. Alright, I'm going to do it. Bring it and we're done. 
Ta-da! Promoted to rank number seven. That's it, folks. We completed it. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.